In this video, I will show you an operational amplifier circuit. This is the eighth example, that means this is the last example of this series. Determine the voltmeter reading as shown in the following circuit. See, we have this circuit here and this is our voltmeter. And this voltmeter will indicate the output voltage of this operational amplifier 1. Therefore, we have to determine the output voltage of the operational amplifier as indicated by this voltmeter. Before go into the circuit solution, let me show you the simulation of this circuit. There, I will show you the voltages at different points. So, this is the circuit setup I have set in the simulator. Now let me show the simulation. See, the output voltage VO will be equal to minus 5 volt. See, this terminal has a voltage of minus 5. See, the voltmeter is showing a reading of 5 volt. As the minus terminal is in upward direction and the plus terminal is in downward direction, therefore our voltage VO will be 5 volt. Okay. Now let me show you the terminal voltages. Okay. See, the voltage at the non-inverting terminal of the op amp 1 will be 1.67 volt okay and the due to the negative feedback you will see the non inverting terminal voltage and this no inverting terminal voltages will be equal so this terminal will have also a voltage of 1.67 volt okay see this output terminal of the operational amplifier 2 will have a voltage of 2 volt and this terminal will have a voltage of nearly 0 volt due to the negative feedback. Now see the current that is flowing through this path will be equal to 33.3 micro ampere. So our output voltage will be 5 volt. This terminal will have a voltage of 1.67 volt due to negative feedback. This non-inverting terminal and this inverting terminal voltages will be equal 1.67 volt. The output terminal voltage of the op amp 2 will be 2 volt and in this direction I will get a current flow of 33.3 microampere and our current flow in this direction will be 50 microampere and the current through this path will be 50 microampere and our output voltage will be minus 5 volt. In my circuit analysis I will show you all of these things. Okay, that's it. Okay, now see the output terminal of the operational amplifier 1 is connected with the inverting terminal through a resistive network so our operational amplifier 1 will be in negative feedback as the operational amplifier 1 is in negative feedback its non-inverting terminal voltage and inverting terminal voltage will be equal vp1 equal to vn1 now look here this is our operational amplifier 2 the output terminal is connected with the inverting terminal through a resistor of 40 kilo ohm that means the operational amplifier 2 is also in negative feedback therefore vp2 will be equal to vn2 now see the non-inverting terminal of the operational amplifier 2 is directly grounded so i will write vp2 equal to 0 when vp2 will be equal to 0 that will make vn2 equal to 0 volt so i can write vp2 equal to 0 so vn2 will be equal to 0 volt okay now see as the operational amplifier will be negative feedback the incoming current to the inverting terminal and non-inverting terminal will be 0 that means the inverting terminals will act like a virtual open circuit due to negative feedback now see this 5 volt will be applied between this terminal to this ground terminal as there is no current flow in this direction so this 5 volt will be absorbed by this 20 kilo ohm and this 10 kilo ohm resistor so the voltage that will be absorbed by this 10 kilo ohm resistor will be our vp1 vp1 will be voltage difference between this terminal to the ground terminal so how do we calculate this vp1 we will simply use voltage divider rule vp1 will be equal to 10k divided by 10k plus 20k into 5 volt which will be equal to 
1.67 volt this node will have a voltage of 1.67 volt now so due to negative feedback this non inverting terminal and this inverting terminal voltages will be equal v and 2 will also be equal to 1.67 volt see at this point we have this one volt connected that means the voltage difference between this terminal to ground terminal will be plus 1 volt but the voltage difference between this terminal to ground terminal is zero point is 1.67 volt that means this inverting terminal is at higher potential so i will get a current flow from high, higher potential to lower potential let's say i denote that current with v 20k that will be flowing from this terminal to this terminal so how do we calculate that current by using ohm's law current through the 20 kilo ohm resistor will be from right to left and we will calculate that by subtracting lower voltage from higher voltage 1.67 minus 1 divided by 20 kilo ohm which will be equal to 33.33 micro ampere now look at this inverting terminal here you will see there will be no current flow in this direction and here we have this 33.33 micro ampere current flowing in this direction therefore if I apply KCL a current must be incoming at this terminal from this direction let's say that current is flowing through this 10 kilo ohm resistor and I denote that current with I through 10 K and that will flow from right to left therefore if I apply KCL at this terminal here you will see the current I through 10 kilo ohm will be incoming and the current I through 20 kilo ohm and this zero will be outgoing so I can write so I through 10 kilo ohm will be equal to I through 20 kilo ohm plus zero which will be equal to 33.33 micro ampere so the current through this 10 kilo ohm resistor will be 33.33 micro ampere and you will see this will be entering at this 10 kilo ohm resistor from this direction so this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative okay now i will calculate the output voltage of the operational amplifier 2 let's say denote that voltage with v2 v2 is the voltage difference between this terminal to the ground terminal therefore you will see this v2 will be the sum of the voltage v2 will be equal to the voltage across this 10 kilo ohm resistor plus the voltage between this terminal to this ground terminal here it is 1.67 volt the voltage across this 10 kilo ohm resistor will be equal to simple ohms law 10 kilo into current 33.33 micro ampere that means 33.33 into 10 to the power minus 6 plus 1.67 volt therefore you will see this v2 will be equal to 2 volt okay now see this node has a voltage of 2 volt and due to negative feedback the inverting terminal voltage of the op amp 2 will be equal to 0 volt and see as the op amp is in negative feedback the current through the inverting terminal will be equal to zero now see as this terminal is at higher potential and this terminal is at lower potential therefore you will get a current flow in this direction let's say you know that current with i through 40 kilo ohm therefore you will see i through 40 kilo ohm will be equal to higher voltage minus lower voltage divided by 40 k that means 40 into 10 to the power 3 which will be equal to 50 micro ampere so a current of 50 micro ampere will be incoming at this terminal as there is no current flow in this direction now let's say the current that is flowing through this 100 kilo ohm will be equal to i through 100 i 100 therefore if i apply kcl at this inverting terminal here you will see this i through 40 kilo ohm will be incoming that means i will get 
50 micro ampere incoming equal to there will be no current flow in this direction so i will get incoming current equal to outgoing current i through 100 kilo ohm okay so this will be our equation now see how do we calculate the current through the 100 kilo ohm resistor it will be equal to as i have considered current is flowing from this terminal to this terminal that means i have to consider this terminal is at lower potential and this inverting terminal is at higher potential okay therefore i will take higher voltage 0 volt minus lower voltage vo divided by the value of resistor here the value of resistor will be 100 k that means 100 into 10 to the power 3 so if i write down the equation i will write it like this vo will be equal to minus 50 microampere that means 50 into 10 to the power minus 6 into 100 into 10 to the power 3 therefore you will see our output voltage vo will be equal to minus 5 volt and in the simulation i have shown you that the reading of the voltmeter is equal to 5 volt with its negative terminal is in upward direction and positive terminal is in downward direction that means our vo equal to minus 5 volt okay that's it thank you